All right, Stitch, unfortunate situations, you know, that kind of brought you here, you know, and it's kind of put you in the news, but can you tell me where you were when you found the news and kind of what was your immediate reaction when you heard that, hey, you know, your services are no longer needed? Well, you know, Kenny, I was at Costco shopping, actually, uh, but I knew that there was a firestorm that was already lit with all the fans responding, uh, you know, to, to the article that I had written out. And, uh, but I got a call uh, or a text uh, from an individual from the UFC that wanted to know if I had time to talk. And I told him I was at Costco, but I'll be home, you know, at 4.30. And at 4.30, I, uh, I, I called them and, and uh, I was told right off the bat, with not much of an introduction, uh, that uh, they don't want you to work any more UFC events for the article that I did uh, on bloodyapple.com. And, uh, you know, the conversation was short right after that. And, and then I let my friends and family know, and from there it's gotten to this point. Now you said uh, when you were talking earlier on the radio, there was nothing that you thought in this in this article that that was anything really incendiary or really going on. You just kind of were just stating the facts as how facts were. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, my wife and I read it again last night because I'm thinking maybe I said something I shouldn't have said. You know, uh, and and maybe I did. And and me being said that I'm losing sponsorship monies uh, for this Reebok deal with no compensation whatsoever. They want me to wear the Reebok outfits, but they don't want to compensate me, and I'm losing. Using my Reba or my my bad boy sponsorships and other sponsorships, uh, and and there's just no discussion in, in in me being involved with that, and that's what I mentioned, and I guess they didn't like that. I think a lot of people kind of forget the fact that you guys are out there, that you are wearing, you know, you saw sponsors on the back. I think a lot of people forget, you know, what a big part that you guys are, and that you guys are doing that. You know, what, was it unfortunate that they didn't really even bring you guys into the discussion when it came into and said, hey, we're going to do this Reebok deal, we can't see anything else. They never really thought about you guys. No, we, we no, not at all, man. And, uh, and and you're absolutely right, Kenny. You know, there was no discussion whatsoever. When we did bring it up, when we were informed like a year ago that uh, we were going to lose our sponsors and all that, we kind of freaked out because we thought it was going to be shortly after that, you know, a year later, that's when they, they make the decision. But during that whole year, we try to talk to the higher ups and nothing was, uh, uh, they said, all right, there's just, there's nothing in the kitty for you guys. And uh, you guys won't be involved in any kind of compensation, but you will have to wear the Reeboks. And, uh, you know, we amongst the cutmen, we all spoke and the majority of us spoke, at least the veterans. And uh, I'm the one that took the bullet for the team, brother. I was going to say, uh, you've kind of been the one that I know in talk with you in the past, you helped develop a lot of the cut techniques, the way that you were the forefront in the, in the practice of taking care of the fighters, but now did you kind of feel like it was on you to kind of as well take the lead and say, hey guys, all right, people know my name, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take, that, uh, take the heat and, and come out and say something. Yeah, and that's always been my nature anyway, is to speak forward or speak about something that's uh, that's not being done right and and at least bring that up to the attention of the people that are that are doing it and uh, You know, I just did it through in an interview But yeah, I, I'm the one that I knew that the other ones wouldn't do it and couldn't do it uh, Because you know, they depend on this job uh, to make a living I have other in source uh, other sources of income and all that but not that it's just more of, of What was wrong was wrong and I was trying to make it right. That's what I try to do and were you surprised with the out the, the 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 support and everybody reaching out, let alone in the community from other cutmen? I, you mentioned earlier that some of the guys reached out and said thank you for for what you're doing. But what about the fighters? What about the fans? I mean, how has that support been, and what does that mean to you? Oh, it's it's been tremendous. It's been very uplifting, and you know, just finished <clears throat> MMA Junkie Radio here, and goals were saying that there's been like 26,000 tweets in the in less than 24 hours that have responded to that my name is involved in that so uh, to me I de definitely didn't expect this Kenny and I don't think the UFC did either but it's uh, you know people have said I was the chosen one to come forward and, and, and speak the truth uh, that so many other people wanted to do including the fighters and everybody has to watch themselves they have they walk in eggshells and you know I, I'm the one that manned up and uh, found the one that got slammed right off the bat.
Well, I know you, you said you're going to take some time to, you know, see see if they want to come back to the table, maybe maybe say something. I know you're getting offers, but what's the immediate point? Uh, what are you going to do right now? I mean, is it going to take a little time just to address the family, but, you know, take some offers? I mean, what's what's the plan going forward immediately? Yeah, well, the offers I've gotten, and I have gotten <laughs> a, a bunch of offers, and I'm telling them, you know what, let's talk next week, because this week, number one, I'm, I'm still responding back to a lot of the fans that are re responding to me, and, and I want to do that. I've always been a, a fan person. Uh, but, you know, I'm here with my agent, Ray Garza, and, and uh, my, my wife and my two kids, and we're going to sit down and, and see what the future brings and, and see what route we want to take and, and, uh, and see what happens, you know. And, uh, but, yeah, this has been a crazy week. Plus, I have a boxing event. Bayboot Shumanoff is fighting B.J. Flores Saturday. Uh, so Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'll be busy, you know, working that show. And if you could, just for the final question, you know, what was great was I was watching you take these phone calls and stuff. I could see a little bit of emotion come out, you know, it's got to be a little bit touching. So if you had a moment to say something to the fans out there that are giving you support, what would you say back to them? Well, I'm going to have to tell you guys, you know, thank you very much for what you guys are doing. You know, I, it's something that I didn't expect. Uh, but whenever you get this type of surprise and these fans are coming forward and, and really doing it out of their own hearts, you heard the calls that we had today and you've seen the tweets and you've seen the messages, uh, but I want to thank you guys really for all the support. It's usually me that has been taking care of the fighters. Now the fans are taking care of me. Uh, so I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Can't wait to see you again. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure, man. Thank you, Kenny.